I have been encouraged by the people who give me encouraging words, and I have uh, been receptive to criticism where there's been criticism. I try and listen to that criticism carefully because uh, however it's delivered, it's, it's a different viewpoint, and it's important to receive those viewpoints to see if the path that we're on is the right path. New tonight, it's been more than 100 days since Shreveport Mayor Tom Arsenault stepped into his role as the mayor. Although he's been in office for four months, he's been met with several challenges, one of the biggest being crime. Today, I talked with Mayor Arsenault about what he's doing to combat crime along with other city problems he wants to tackle. Well, it's been very interesting and very fulfilling. So far, Mayor Tom Arsenault has spent 119 days in office. Within that time, the city of Shreveport has seen four officer-involved shootings this year, two fatal. The latest one happened Tuesday. I first asked him what he's doing to combat and solve crime in Shreveport. What we're doing is cooperating with both the Shreveport Police Department, the Louisiana State Police, and the federal authorities to make sure that we're capturing as much intelligence as we can so we can highlight where we can anticipate crime and figure out who are the perpetrators. I also asked him if he thought his responses to those shootings are sufficient. The first one, we had an investigation by the Louisiana State Police and that resulted in uh, ultimately in the resignation of the officer who was involved and there were uh, criminal charges that are still pending against that officer. Uh, two of them had to do with officers returning fire uh, when they were called to, uh, to scene, so that's very important, and we're still waiting on the Louisiana State Police investigation of the fourth one. The mayor also talked about economic development, along with what's next with Rev Entertainment's new sports facility set to be built near Fairgrounds Field. We're waiting on a request for proposals for a consultant to assist us in evaluating that proposal. Those are due on May 11th, and we hope we'll choose a uh, consultant to assist us in, in determining whether and how to go about doing that. Arsenal also talked about future plans for the city, especially concerning blight. We've signed a number of demolition orders for properties to be demolished, and uh, basically, we've told property standards to act as though they have all the money in the world to demolish properties that are not in compliance. What I hope to do is to drastically improve our addressing of blighted properties and neighborhoods. Once we do that and, and combine our efforts with blighted properties, then I think we're going to see a reduction in, uh, in crime in neighborhoods. We're going to have a, a resulting improvement in the way people feel about their neighborhoods. That will be healthy for the neighborhoods. It will bring people back to Shreveport, and I think it, that will help us to achieve our goals.